Okay. Hi guys, I'm Maggie, and this is Aria, and today we're going to be comparing SolidWorks and Fusion 360. SolidWorks and Fusion 360 are both 3D modeling software that can be used for engineering, design, architecture, or hobby. While they are both the same type of software, they each have distinguishing features that may make them more or less appealing to certain users depending on their intended use. Let's start off by discussing the system requirements. In terms of the operating system, Fusion 360 is available for both Mac and Windows users, whereas SolidWorks is specifically developed for Windows users. While you can still get it up and running on a Mac, you will have to do it through a virtual machine, which is obviously less convenient. In terms of memory, Fusion 360 requires 3 gigabytes of RAM, while SolidWorks requires 16 gigabytes minimum, but recommends 32. SolidWorks also requires more disk space than Fusion 360, specifically 20 gigabytes compared to Fusion 360's 2.5 gigabytes. This is because SolidWorks was originally designed to store everything on the computer, whereas Fusion 360 stores everything in the cloud. We'll get into more detail about this a bit later. SolidWorks and Fusion 360 both also require upgraded graphics cards for peak performance, especially if you intend to use the rendering features. Now let's get into accessibility. SolidWorks retails for a price of $3,995 for a standard license plus $1,295 a year to keep up with the latest version. If you want some of the more advanced features such as advanced cam, rendering, or more in-depth analysis tools, you'll have to purchase the professional license for $5,490 or the premium license for $7,995. There are also special pricing options available if you are in academia, research, or a student. Unfortunately, the software cannot be directly downloaded from their website and must be purchased directly from a local reseller. Fusion 360, on the other hand, can be downloaded for free from their website. The software remains free for personal or hobby use as long as you generate less than $1,000 in annual revenue. Now let's discuss storage. SolidWorks stores everything directly on your computer. Because everything is based on local and network files, SolidWorks does not require internet access and can be used offline. SolidWorks has also somewhat recently come out with some cloud storage options that you could check out on their website. Fusion 360, on the other hand, stores everything in the cloud, which is great for collaborative projects and data management. It also saves a ton of storage space on your computer. On the downside, because everything is stored in the cloud, the software cannot be used offline, so you must have internet access. Finally, let's discuss usability. SolidWorks is an assembly-driven software where assemblies reference multiple individual part files allowing for larger assemblies. In Fusion 360, all components are built and assembled within the same file, which is fine if you're doing more simple assemblies, but definitely not as well suited to handle assemblies that are more complex. SolidWorks tends to lend itself more toward design engineering and manufactured goods with more in-depth simulations and analysis features such as motion studies, FEA analysis, and computational fluid dynamics. However, it does not have a sculpt mode and does not handle mesh surfaces well. Fusion 360, on the other hand, is more intuitive and works well for hobbyists and advanced designers with sculpt mode to create more organic shapes and mesh modeling. It also includes cam and rendering features, which you do not have access to in SolidWorks under the standard license. In terms of interface, Fusion 360 is a much more user-friendly interface, similar to Google SketchUp. SolidWorks has a much more complicated user interface, but it allows for a fully programmable keyboard and therefore much more efficient modeling. Overall, the software that's best for you totally depends on how you plan to use it. I hope this video helps you decide which software better fits your needs. For a more in-depth comparison, please check out the article on total3dprinting.org. Thanks for watching.